the organiser, Swazi Makali, and asked her how things are going. It's going really, really well. Um, volunteers are in high spirits. Volunteers are doing everything they can to put everything into storage. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to touch upon your point, actually, where um, we are calling for people to be calm, and, and there are loads of um, peace ceremonies being conducted. And in vain of that, um, yeah, just a few words. It just says that, but the wisdom that comes from heaven is, first of all, pure, peace-loving, considerate, submissive, full of mercy, and, and bears good fruit. We want to be peacemakers um, because there's enough of grief, and we, and also we don't want that to be confused. Um, that your kindness is taken for weakness. This is an atrocity that shouldn't have happened but we want to respond in love so that those who are grieving do feel loved by their community. Do you, you do understand the anger that you've seen in the last day or so? Definitely and there needs to be answers, there needs to be um, a response to that but um, you know, if you are just here at this scene there are so many people who are grieving and there are so many people who are weeping um, I don't think lashing out, you know, the news and the press do a great job, but actually yesterday wasn't a true reflection on what happened. I was down at Latimer Church and all we did all day was box up Denver storage and all over the news is riots and, and, and kicking down doors. That is not a true reflection. Can I say, if you are on the ground, you know what the community spirit is and it's in the hands of people like yourselves and the press to show a balanced view. Yes, people are angry, but yes, people are loving. Yeah, we get that. And certainly we've been trying to show incredible efforts really from the community yeah. to to deliver aid, to, to bring in aid. You've, you've got enough supplies now, we gather. Yes, we've got too many supplies too now many supplies. Where, where people are still donating. But I just want to say a massive thank you to van drivers and people who are opening up storage, people who are opening up homes. Um, we, I would love to get a conversation going between storage and donation centres because I haven't seen any council members and, and we're doing this very organically, but mm. we're doing our best to, to lead a community where we're still mourning very but much. That is one of the issues, isn't it? Because we've been hearing that people are still sleeping on floors, people who've been made homeless by yes. this, and, and also that this government task force, yes. which has been created, it's yeah. supposed to be on the ground today. Have you seen any evidence of it? No, but I mean, there's a lot of talk of community just saying, why are people sleeping in floors when there are housings available? You could, in the richest borough, just purchase a block of buildings um, and house people. But I'm not saying it's as straightforward as that, but there are ways in which that people on the ground are thinking, why can't this just happen? And if it's going to take the community to do it, then let's band together and, and make sure things are getting done. And your sense, you know, a few days after this disaster, it's, it's such a difficult time, isn't it? The grief is still so raw because people are still... Not everybody knows what's happened to their loved ones in that building. Yes, there is. And there's a few clips going around. And actually, one of the ladies who was really grieved... And, and you know, the grief is understandable. It's not that we are saying you cannot grieve because, of course, you look back and you see all the information that's going out. But actually, can I encourage people to hug people in grief? Um, people are very in need of a hug and, and consolation. And so a bottle of water and a hug go hand in hand very, very well. <laughs> Good advice there from Swazi Mikali, uh, a bottle of water and a hug. One of the amazing volunteers who, who's been working here so hard for the last...